Let me tell you the story of when we hiked up to the top of the ridge of the Cup and Saucer Trail, not once, but twice in two days. It was our first time hiking this trail, and we decided to hike the main trail, the one that is outlined in red. During the first part of the trail, it was very easy and well marked. But at some point, we veered off the main trail and found ourselves following what we thought was a trail and it led us to a lookout point. So follow us on this first attempt to hike the Cup and Saucer Trail. Good morning. Here we are at the Cup and Saucer Trail. It's early November. We're the only one here. So, as you can see, it's, it's very windy. So we're all bundled up, ready for our hike. This is the only vehicle in the parking lot. Unless people have walked here, there's nobody else here besides us. The noise of speeding vehicles on Highway 540 can easily be heard at the entrance to the parking lot. In trail, red, just follow the red, follow the red, follow the red, follow the red, red, red. I guess we come back after, see the same path, and we're back here. Okay, let's move on. Professional hiker. It was good to be hiking among the forests again. You never know what you might come across on the trails. With the trees bare of leaves, the forest reveals itself. There's a stark beauty to the limbs and branches framed against the sky. Quite interesting how this uh, tree just uh, developed roots on top of this rock and it's basically feeding itself from this rock. It's a fairly big cedar as it stands. It stands about maybe oh, 25 to 30 feet tall. So right now the terrain we're encountering over here it's a uh, train much the same. The foliage around here is very different. Uh, when we first started, there's a lot of cedars. There's still a lot of cedars over here, but uh, you, you didn't see as many, as many fallen leaves as we have over here. And we got all sorts of maple. People try to leave their marks everywhere they go. That is a uh, continuing path, and uh, forward we go.
cool rock formation over here. It's like an intricate uh, locking mechanism where all these all these uh, shelves all seem to sort of um, uh, spin on each other and and swivel. It's just a solid rock. It was during this stage, when we continued walking straight, that took us on a different direction onto the western ridge overlooking West Bay. But at the time, we didn't know that we missed a turn for the main trail. So this is not a well-marked trail, so we're just relying on our uh, trail craft to uh, ensure that we stay on the trail on the way up to the peak. As if we had any, any uh, trail uh, craft knowledge later on. But uh, what we're trying to determine is that uh, from the leaves on the ground, see what area looks like it's been more stomped on. Uh, I'm trying to follow that. So this path over here is very, uh, oh, yeah. it's not very well marked. Um, there aren't too many markers on the trees. We, st we saw some at the beginning. Uh, and because all the foliage, foliage has uh, fallen, you can't see any, uh, can't really see any footprints anywhere or any pathways. So uh, more or less relying, trying to see if there are some areas where the leaves have still have already uh, have been uh, uh, stomped on. And we can kind of determine more or less. You see that the pathway over here it looks like there's been a little bit more of activity through here. And uh, hopefully we'll get there and come back because we have to come back almost to the same area. When we started to ascend, at the back of my mind, I was starting to think that we weren't on the trail. This was a steep climb made somewhat slippery with all the leaves on the forest floor. It's going to be a challenge going down. A few minutes later, we saw a clearing ahead and walked towards it. And right towards the edge. And met head on the force of the wind.
Thank you for watching. Please share and subscribe so you won't miss the next video when we returned the next day to hike the main trail. <laughs>